baby. Whoa, whoa. I guess something was out. Oh, this fucking constantly on you, like taxes be cops and shit. You don't know. It's like she looking out for the for the nigga, like, and I call it a C. Like he looking out for the nigga as far as the cops and yeah, shit like that. Sure. Like the motherfucker know who this is. Like yo, you done been caught a few times, motherfucker. You need to chill. Yeah. Oh shit. Delirious, I don't know what. Hey, cuz, I usually it's a sub in here. I be getting this to see. Whoa. Gonna straight blast his name out at the end. Okay. Wow. It's not like I'm a computer voice analyst, you dig what I'm saying? I mean, I'm pretty good with frequencies and all that, and it sounded like that was him. It sounded like that was him. So now, I mean, he, he just resigned in my, um, I understand he just resigned over this. So obviously it was him, and he feels some type of way where he feels like now he should resign. Like this is, you know, this is almost like some Anthony Weiner type shit. Like, like they forgave the nigga Anthony Weiner. You dig what I'm saying? Just like they forgave Mr. C. And I was kind of surprised when they did forgive him. But you know what I mean? It seemed like he was forgiven. He was back on the radio. He wasn't really hearing it, and then it happened again. Now this is number three right here, like that we know of. Like this is, this is kind of crazy. I mean, what's it all about? Like to me, this this really speaks to, like, the sickness of mind. Like you know what I mean? Like, like this man had a lot to lose as far as, you know, his livelihood and all of that type of shit. I'm sure they told him, if you get caught doing this shit again, you out of here, you know what I mean? So, why would you still do it? You know what I mean? Unless your mind is, like, unless it's like a sickness, you know what I mean? Like an addiction, that's when you do things, even though you know it can harm you and you still do it, that's the definition of addiction or crazy or some sort of mental illness, you know what I mean? What does it all mean? What does it all mean in the context of hip hop and, and where we're at right now? You dig what I'm saying? Like, how did this climate even come about? And like, when you're in a position like that, why would you ride around on the street? You know what I mean? If that's your proclivity, you know what I mean? To do some shit like that, why would you ride around on the street and, 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 and try to do it that way? You know what I mean? I mean, there's gonna be a lot of dis different reactions. You know what I mean? It's gonna be a lot of, you know, disappointment. It's gonna be a lot of laughter. You know what I mean? It's gonna be a lot of just shaking of heads. A lot of say it ain't so. Like, but we already said say it ain't so the first time we heard it. Like, nah, Mr. C, say it ain't so. You know what I mean? And now we got to. And this, you know, and then he comes back the second time, got caught again which was really his third time because from what I understand he got caught a first time that didn't come out you dig in the public so the first time he got caught in the public which actually a second time so this is his fourth time so you gotta understand if a nigga get caught you know I, I, I got caught at least four or five times in my life smoking weed you know what I mean that means I've been to the weed spot thousands of times you dig what I'm saying I've been to the weed spot a thousand. You only caught me those four or five times. So if he got caught those few times, you gotta understand how much this man must have been doing that. Like, and it's crazy. But but also, let me just say, he comes from an era where, yo, you better hide that shit. 
You know what I mean? You better hide that shit the best you can fucking hide it. You dig? Because that's not hip hop. You <laughs> okay? And that goes back to my original shit. Okay, your man. See, your man Kanye, like we gotta go back to him because he came back defiantly with another skirt, okay? And so now you wanna do that, it's like you almost saying, fuck you. You know what I mean? So it's like, I right, do. See, you're trying to do some shit publicly, trying to steer hip hop in a certain way. This man is doing some shit in his private life. You see what I'm saying? Now, although I might not agree with it, it's not that he's trying to steer hip hop in that direction. You dig what I'm saying? If anything, he was trying to preserve hip hop culture by fucking with the old school and new. You dig what I'm saying? So I respect him for that. And I was, yo, I'm telling you, you always would play brand new being. Like, respect for years. I respect him for that. But, you know, this is, this is hip hop. This is some street shit. And we don't give passes for that type of shit. Like, you just don't. You know what I mean? We don't give passes for that shit. Like, you trying to get head from dudes and all. Come on, man. Like, part of the game is that. You know what I mean? I mean. You know, hopefully, his accomplishments will overshadow this event. You know what I mean? Every all storms pass. You understand what I'm saying? So, you know, hopefully, this should be one small storm. Well, he's had had a couple storms, but you know what I mean. Hopefully, this will be a storm that'll pass, and at the end of the day, you'll be like, yo, that's somebody that was attached to, you know great hip-hop at the end of the day you know what i mean and that should last longer than this shit you know what i mean because this is this is this is some bullshit but he got to understand that his desires and not being able to control his will which is something that we all need to fortify and this is something that they trying to break down in many different ways, through food, through just just keeping you mentally lax, and, you know what I mean? When you need your will, when you need the strength of will, you don't have it. This man needed his will to say, yo, I gotta stop fucking with these dudes. I know I like fucking with dudes, but I need to strengthen my will and stop fucking with them because this could fuck with the livelihood of my family and all that. You dig what I'm saying? Like, now you have a, a, a guaranteed weekly money or whatever the case may be on Hot 97, one of the number one fucking stations in the country. You know what I mean? And... Now you gotta just rely on getting gigs here and there. and You know what I mean? Like, come on, man. Why would you do that? Like, is it that important to you? Like, you see what I'm saying? Fucking, this whole world is mental, man. You see what I'm saying? Like, that's why everybody right now is like, what was he thinking? Because it's not really about the physical. It's about the mental. And that's why I go back to the original thing of what I said. Like, this is a mental illness. And that's how we got to kind of look at it and almost feel sorry for Duke. Like, he got a mental illness that needs to be addressed. In all cultures, within all, uh, you know, businesses or ways of life, whatever the case may be, there's parameters, okay? And this goes back to within hip-hop, within our parameters to keep this hip-hop shit strong, we don't fucking wear skirts. We don't fucking ride around trying to get our dick sucked from fucking transvestites and shit like that. You know what I mean? Like, that's the shit that weakens hip hop. You know what I mean? Like, you can be gay in your own private life if that's what you want to do. Just don't bring it into hip hop. That's all I'm saying. Like, I'm not hating on the gays. I'm not homophobic. I don't have the, the mental disease, okay? Like, I'm not the one with the problem. Like, you know what I mean? You're not gonna make me feel like I'm the one with the problem. You dig what I'm saying? Like, all I'm doing is, I'm somebody who's an elder statesman in this hip hop shit. You dig what I'm saying? I've been around long enough to see it from its infancy to where it is now, and I know how it should be. Okay, and some of y'all say, oh, how it should be according to you. How it should be according to the architects of this shit, and I'm one of them. You dig what I'm saying? So, y'all can feel whatever type of way you want to feel. You know what I mean? I don't hate gay people and no shit like that. But at the same time, that has no place in hip-hop.
I'm competing against not just who's hot right now, who's trendy right now. I'm competing against the whole Canada music. Like when I think about the greats, like Big Daddy Kane and Rakim, they still in my top 10. Kendrick Lamar is creeping up into my top 10, but he only put out one official, official album and a couple mixtapes. When Drake hit me up and was like, yo, I I think people misconstrued in this tweet I just tweeted because I didn't he didn't hear about what I did and my said about my release party. He was like, yo, you did rip that song. And he was like, yo, I, I think uh, he said that line was from an intro on his album or something. So 